What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of the NASCAR 2024 iRacing season. Oh, I'm not excited for this video. Welcome to the Charlotte Roval, the Bank of America Roval 400. I think it's like, maybe it's like 450 kilometer race, I don't know. But if you guys did not watch the last episode at Talladega, highly recommend you go check that out before watching this one. Because at Talladega, we, how did we do at Dega? We, I mean, we're running up front the whole race, and then I got loose at one point in the middle of the pack, got, killed the momentum, and then we were stuck to finish, like, 27th, and, yeah, is what it is, but we have a big r race ahead of us here at the Roval, and, okay, come on, car, turn. This could be a very, very interesting one, because, whoa. That never happened. We are going to restart that. And, okay. That, you guys didn't see that. That never happened, but hopefully I'm able to put a good lap down here at the Roval, man. I'm not too keen on racing here, to be honest. I mean, uh, this track used to be so good, too. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> the thing is not turning. Just not turning. I've got to get used to driving around here. There's, there's some course changes here too. Oh, it's spinning. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This thing is on edge. Holy shit. Okay. Well, looks like I've got some practice to do here during this qualifying run. So, let's see if I can not mess this car up too badly. Okay, pace cars off. Let's go Roval Racing. Oh my goodness. Stenhouse, are we going to go today there, Bob? This is going to be one interesting start. The 21 car just said 9 going today, cuz. Okay. And now Harrison's hit me. I thought you weren't going, Harrison. What the hell was that? And now I'm stuck at the back. Just because I made a move and Harrison Burton sent it to the outside of me and just hit me for no goddamn reason. Okay, then. Oh, freaking K, then. Now, how long can I stay on the lead lap? That's my next challenge. Crap. Well, that was a rough lap. How am I gaining? Okay, I was going to say, there's no way I'm actually gaining time on Denny Hamlin. This pack is storming away from me, as you can tell. Oh, uh, we're three laps into this thing. And this race at the Roval has not gone the way I wanted so far. I just do not have the speed, man. Let alone getting knocked back here early breaks way too early there. Easy does it. Come on, car. Turn, will ya? There we go. This isn't even gonna be here for this year's Robo race. That's kind of crazy to think about. But, well, that part of the track, at least. But, oh well. Just gotta have a little fun with it, I suppose. 121, I don't even know what my fastest lap has been yet because I keep missing corners and I keep on wrecking it. Oh man. Today is not my day. I'm glad I'm not in in the cut line of the playoffs. How can I cut the course, bro? Seriously, I just friggin' spun out. But, oh well, I got too caught up in talking and I forgot. But making the corner, oh, for Christ's sake, man. You're always on edge in that friggin' part of the track here. I might as well pit just to get this thing repaired now. This is definitely not gonna drive the same. Oh, well. I'll have a normal lap eventually.
Ah, oh, dude, here come the leaders. Oh my god, I'm getting my absolute doors blown off today. Who's even leading this thing? I'd love to know. Oh, it's Larson. That somehow doesn't surprise me. But... Oh, can I keep on the back of the five and actually learn how I can maybe run some laps here? Nope, because I downshifted too early. Brilliant. We might as well just let all the friggin... Nope, I was gonna try and turn there, but we'll let everybody go. Go on, have a wonderful day. Have a Merry Christmas. Todd, come on. Bubba. Harrison. Bastard Kyle. Come on. Cindric. There we go. Give that thing a whip around. There we go. I might as well bring it into the pits, get this thing repaired, but... My lap times were improving, too. I'm still, like, seven seconds off, but... I'm no expert road course racer yet, man. It's gonna take some practice for me there. What the hell is happening here? I don't know, but it's something between the 2 and the 47. Weird. Okay, not my problem. But if you're getting passed by me at the Roval, something's wrong. Alright. Let's just keep on racing. Bruh, is that Cindric? Why the hell is my man still out here? And that's Stenhouse up there too. What the hell are these guys doing? Crap, shouldn't have shifted in the first. But, hey, I'm not gonna finish last today. Positives. I gotta give myself a lot of credit. I'm keeping it on the road a lot better than I what I expected it to be as I missed that corner. As here comes Larson again. But Man, I'm proud of myself. I'm not I'm not wrecking this thing near as much as I was. And now that I talk, I start sliding off the road. Yep, Larson, the position's yours. You go for it, big dog. Oh, come on. Keep it on the road. Keep it on the... God damn it. I jinxed myself, man. Alex, you go by too. Okay. Alright, maybe I can stick behind the 48. And get some draft off of them or something. And maybe help work... work my way up the field here a little bit, but you never know, some faster lap times could be on the horizon, but gotta start somewhere, gotta try man. Oh dude, the, god damn it, the tires are absolutely cooked on this thing, I'm bringing it into pit road. I'm bringing it in a pit road. I've, this thing is absolutely cooked. We got halfway left in the race to go, so. I might as well bring it down pit road here and see what happens. A little too slow in during the pits, but. Oh well. Give me four fresh tires and fuel. It's all good. Oh, too early. There we go. Come on. Give me stopped. Give me fresh tires and fuel there, boys. Lace this puppy up. Well, there's a great way to come out of the pits.
And there's an even better way to come out of the pits. I'll see you on pit road this time, fellas. Jesus Christ. Fresh out of the pits, too. Fresh out of the pits. And that happens. I guess the Roval does not like me on fresh tires. Dude. What's happening to me, man? What is happening to me? Road courses are not my forte. We have learned that much today. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh my god, I'm just letting my whole race crumble apart here. <sighs> dude. This is why I was, wasn't was excited for this race, man. This is why I wasn't excited for this race. Because I knew crap like this was gonna happen. I'm, imp I'm surprised it didn't happen for as long as it did. But we'll bring it down the pits here as soon as I can get there. Yeah, man. This sucks. Oh my god, dude. Why won't this car turn? Damn it. On um, Stenhouse is for position two. Um, dude, stay on the track. Why is it so bad on new tires, dude? I don't get it. I mean, I get the tires being cold, but like, holy hell. Oh man, thank god there's only two more laps to go, and I'm over. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry Todd Gillen, I am, I am done. I am so done for this, for this race, dude, oh my god. Well, I guess that race is over. I mean... Yeah, I get to spend it on pit road because I wreck so much. Kyle Larson gets the win, and yeah, that'd be good for him in the playoffs. Give him some, give him some more bonus points. We still somehow beat Austin Sindrick. Don't ask me how, but uh, my pick. Jesus, uh, can we pick a different camera angle here, fellas? But yeah, guys, my pick for the Roval. Who are we gonna take? I think we're going to go with Shane Van Gisbergen. Why not? It's a different layout, so I think that benefits the guys who have a lot of road course experience. SVG is one of those guys. Could be AJ Allmendinger, too. Never know. AJ could go back to back at the Roval, but I'm going to put my, put my expectations, not saying money, on SVG. But guys, if you enjoyed my crash fest at the Roval, at least in the last half. Make sure you smash the like button, leave a comment down below, tell me what you thought of this episode, and why. Subscribe and notifications to turn on so you never miss a future upload. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next episode of this NASCAR iRacing season. We have four races left to go. That's crazy to think about. Also, comment who you think is going to go out in the round of 12. It's an elimination race. Well, I'll see you guys next week at Vegas, then Homestead, Martinsville, and Phoenix to round off the season. That's crazy to think. Take care, and peace!